Hello friends, I hope you all are fine and having fun with your lives. Today I am going to share a new project which is ECG simulation using MATLAB. In this project I have designed a complete simulation in MATLAB in which I have taken uh, ECG signal and then I have simulated this ECG signal in MATLAB and extracted its different features. So this project is not free and we have placed a very small amount of $50. You can buy this project by clicking on this button buy this ECG simulation. And when you click this button you will be redirected to the show page for this product. The link of this tutorial is given in the description of this video and uh, by clicking on that link in the description you will come to this post ECG simulation using MATLAB. In this tutorial I have de uh, described in detail how to use this ECG simulation the GUI. This GUI has uh, two, two functions. One is the common ECG disease detection and the second one is the feature extraction and diagnosis and severity of the ECG signal. So this is the tutorial on our blog. The link of this tutorial is given in the description of this video and from this tutorial you can click on the buy this ECG simulation and you will come to this page which is ECG simulation in MATLAB. If you want to buy it then you have to first create your account on our website because I have already logged in so that's why it's showing say Zaina say here. So now you need to add this to cart and once you add it to cart then I clicked on this button add to cart and now my ECG simulation has been added to my cart okay so view cart I wanna view my cart so let's see it, what it says Anyways, this is the tutorial. You must read this tutorial and should watch this video completely if you wanna buy this project. Because uh, I don't want you to remain uh, misunderstood or you just buy it and then regret that why you bought this project. So first and must read this tutorial and watch this video and then buy this project and uh, in this card you can see the product there are different products which I have added in my cart and here it is the ECG simulation in MATLAB and when you proceed to check out I'm showing this method because I lately I've been uh, getting requests that people are unable to buy product from our page so that's why I'm showing this simple method that how you can buy it so here it's asking for sh shipping and uh, addresses so finally you can buy it there are two methods one is direct bank transfer and uh, which if you you are uh, so, you know, from Pakistan then you can use this method and the second one is PayPal. So select this PayPal method and then proceed to PayPal and it will proceed you to the PayPal page for this product. For uh, in order to pay the amount for this product. Okay, so now coming back to this simulation. See here it is, these are the my products, and here it says to log in and then send your order, etc. Anyways, coming back to our uh, ECG simulation, uh, when you download uh, or uh, buy this uh, simulation, you will get all these files in a folder. So you need to open this folder in MATLAB 2015. I'm using 2015, so I suggest you to use 2015 plus version of your MATLAB. And here you need to run this file ECG final GUI.m. Here it is, you can see, now I am running this 
ECG final GUI and here it comes my ECG final GUI simulation in MATLAB here you can see the first section is common ECG diseases here I have plotted in fact designed different curves ECG curves for different diseases so if some person has normal sinus rhythm then it curve its ECG curve will be something as shown here if it has sinus tach tachycardia then the curve will be like this if it has sinus bradycardia then the curve will be as shown here if it has atrial flutter then the curve will be distorted a little if junctional rhythm then ventricular fibrillation is a totally different kind of curve it's kind of sinusoidal wave and ventricular tachycardia okay so these are the predefined uh, ECG curves for different diseases I have added total 8 disease here and here the result whenever you click any button it will show you that uh, which disease this ECG signal has like when I click here it says wide ventricular complexes rate greater than this is the heart rate 120 per minute if I click on atrial flutter it will show rapid flutter wave ventricular response is regular and this is one section of this GUI where I have predefined signals and I am just showing them on each button press now here is a filtering of ECG signal and it is a built in function of MATLAB which I have used and I have normalized removed noises from the ECG signal the normal ECG signal has a lot of noise in it which you can see here this is a noisy and filtered uh, signal which you can see there is a lot of noise and here we have a simple noise free ECG signal a simple waveform um, I have just designed this simple function to show you how you can filter an ECG signal ok now I am closing it so now next section of this project is the feature extraction now when I load any ECG signal like I have a data set data 1 to data 12 so I am gonna select data 1 when I have selected data 1 then you can see this data is of 10 seconds I have downloaded this data from PhysioBank which you can see here PhysioBank ATM it's an awesome site which has given a lot of ECG signal and I have from here I have selected APNEA ECG database and here I have selected the samples as text and I have selected output of 10 seconds so you can see here I have got a thousand sample starting from here to here so it's uh, a 10 second signal ECG signal which has total around thousand entries okay so I have simply copied this data in a text file I have simply copied the whole data in a text file and these text files are shown here you can see if I open any of these files like I am opening data1.txt and you can see it has two columns and the total data is of thousand entries ok so now there is our ECG final here it is so when I loaded the data1.txt in this simulation then it has plotted the ECG signal incomplete and then it has extracted from this point till this point it has shown this curve the first peak the first complete curve of ECG signal and in this signal I have then extracted the peaks P peak Q peak R S and T peaks so I have extracted these peaks and then labeled them as you can see here and after that I have extracted the heart rate the heart rate of this person which is 65 
BPM and after that I have extracted the R to R interval. The R to R interval is between these two. R to R interval. And then I have also extracted QRS interval, which is the interval from Q to S, which is 60 millisecond. The R to R interval is 909 millisecond, which is around one second. So and this is a normal wave. and it's a mild case means it has no disease now let me upload data 2 and you can see when i have uploaded data 2 then there it is these are it's a case of this person is suffering with a disease of sinus tachycardia and sinus tachycardia exists when you have a high heart rate heart rate is 83 bpm and Uh, you can see the peaks are also close to each other plus uh, here uh, the distinguish between s and t is quite small means the t is coming just after s means uh, there is slightly difference between s and t values and uh, Moreover, the QRS interval is 60 millisecond. R to R interval is also 714 millisecond. Okay, now let me upload the third data, and it's a different case: ventricular fibrillation, which is a severe case. Means the patient needs to be treated immediately because he is uh, uh, near to lose his life. So here I haven't shown the heart rate or to our internal interval or QRS interval because in this way we are unable to extract these. This image is coming from the last data. So let me load another data which is fourth, and now we have an updated. Here it's sinus bradycardia, which is the case when your heart beat is slow. Here it is 59 bpm. R to R interval is 1000, and QRS interval is 90 ms millisecond. So in this way, you can load any of these data. Data 12, I am just doing it. It's sinus bradycardia. Then let me upload another case, which is data 11, ventricular fibrillation, severe case. So that's how you can load different data. You can also get this. It's a normal case. Seventy one heart rate, R to R interval, and QRS interval are also given. Here's the its wave. You can see this is a little high T, which is shown here. So what I am doing in this project is first of all I am getting the signal. I am plotting that signal. Then I am getting the first curve from each of these signals and plotting these curves here. And then I am mentioning labeling. the p q r s and t peaks and after that i am extracting these features and i am diagnosing the disease to that patient like it's normal or it has some disease then i am checking the severity case either it's mild or it's a severe case so that's all for today thanks for watching and subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can get these videos straight to your inbox Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.